In our society, we are told that the cause of osteoporosis is not chewing up enough calcium tablets or not drinking enough cow's milk. And you're really, thought to, you're really told to believe this. There's a lot of medical evidence that says this just is not so. And this was clearly shown, I feel, in a study that was released by Cornell University recently, done by Dr. Colin Campbell, where they investigated thousands of people in the Republic of China. And they found that in this country, essentially osteoporosis is, is unheard of. They don't get osteoporosis. And women make it into their 80s, having nursed five children, and they have nice, strong bones. And yet here is a country that consumes essentially no dairy products. The milk isn't available, the cows aren't available, the refrigeration isn't available. They get all their calcium out of grains and greens and fruits and vegetables, and they don't get osteoporosis because they are eating grains and vegetables, and it doesn't make them urinate out their calcium. But it's been clearly shown as the Chinese folks move to the cities, get more affluent, and start eating more meat in their diet, they start losing calcium, and then the osteoporosis appears. It's really becoming apparent that osteoporosis seems to be not so much a disease of calcium deficiency, it's a disease of protein excess. You see osteoporosis in the countries that consume the most protein, in the United States, in Scandinavia, in Europe, and in Australia. That's where you see osteoporosis. You don't see it in China, you don't see it in rural South America, you don't see it in rural Asia, where people are eating grains and vegetables. And I'll tell you, dairy products are no protection against osteoporosis because the Americans and the Canadians and the Scandinavians are the people who drink more milk and eat more cheese than anybody else on planet Earth, and they have the worst osteoporosis on the planet. And if dairy, protein, if dairy products protected you from osteoporosis, you wouldn't see it in North America. And you see just the opposite. Because there's so much protein in dairy products that it actually puts you in negative calcium balance, makes you urinate out your calcium. And Dr. Recker's study clearly showed this. They gave women three eight-ounce glasses of milk a day for a year, and they were still in negative calcium balance because there's so much protein in milk. Don't rely on dairy products for your, for your calcium. Get it out of grains and greens and fruits and vegetables. But most important, hold on to your calcium by getting all that chicken and fish flesh out of your kidneys and out of your body and out of your bones. There's been studies uh, comparing the bone density of vegetarian women versus meat-eating women and clearly the vegetarian ladies hold on to their calcium better than the meat-eating women because they're not eating all that protein.